the Joe Rogan experience. But there, people have those things. They have those uh, wolf breeds, wolf dogs. This one guy I, I knew had three of them, and he would go over his house. If you made noise, like, yo, they would go, oh, yeah, they, they would howl. all just howl in. It's they're not dogs. It's so interesting. They like. There's no like telling them what to do. Sit, lay down. Fuck you. Those dogs should be out in the wild. Yeah, and this guy had them in a the yard. It's like it's that, kind of crazy. That's not where they should be. No. These dogs are wild. They should be out in you know. It's also kind of crazy to fix them. You're just cutting off their testosterone supplies. So, oh, just get tired. I bet they're still pretty aggressive. They're not the same. They're definitely not the same. I mean, I get it that you don't want them to have puppies, but you should just be in control of your dog. Yeah. The, they're, they're, it's a, such a weird animal, wolves, you know, because we killed them off, and now we're like, let's bring them back. And have them in the park with other dogs that are have no fighting chance against it if it goes nuts. Well, that case, that guy, you know, had it supposedly as a pet. I just think people get pets sometimes. It's like you don't have to really know what you're doing to get, sure. like, a German Shepherd. You can get... A police dog, German Shepherd, like a really aggressive, very smart thinking, like almost like a predator of people. Yeah. You know? And you could just get it. Anybody can get it. I mean, somebody, I think in Manhattan had like an alligator. Oh, yeah. Like you get these like little the animals time. where they're cute and then it like gets to be humongous and you're like, this is a real problem. I think a dude in the Bronx had a tiger. Sure. I can see that happening. <laughs> his fucking house. This guy had a tiger at his house. Yeah, I mean, people are nuts. Imagine, like, telling a girl at a club you have a baby tiger. Like, even if you don't want to fuck this guy, you're like, I do want to see this baby tiger. <laughs> Where was this? This is his alligator found in New York City Lake. Oh, my God. In Brooklyn. So what do you think happened there? Do you think that was, like, a pet? It's probably a pet, and it got too big, and somebody was like, I don't know what to do with this, and he put it in this park in the water. That's the story of Florida. Florida's an amazing story. Florida is just overrun with pythons. There's a half a million pythons in the Everglades. They say that 99% of all of the mammals are gone. That's of everything. Raccoons, wild. deer, everything. Rabbits. They're all gone. Foxes, pumas, everything. everything. Maybe that's what you need to be hunting then. Yeah, well, they are doing that. What's crazy is in California, python skin's illegal. So you can't, <laughs> you can't, it's banned. You can't get python in California. Meanwhile, on the other side of the country, they're overrun with pythons. Like they literally have wiped out all of the native wildlife. They're eating alligators now. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 425 pound cut tiger living in Harlem apartment. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, that's part of the story. I mean, imagine showing up to that and you're like, I'm out of here. Oh my God. I'm not getting paid enough for this. I think they're the most beautiful animals. They're beautiful. But, like, what are you doing in a tiny studio apartment with no, a it's tiger? Insane. It's an insane person. It's like some dude who met some dude who knows a guy who can get you a tiger. Of course. Do you know there's more tigers in Texas in private collections than there are in all of the wild of the world? Are they just, like, in their private backyards and stuff? Tiger world. I mean, when they attack people, I'm like, yeah, I get it. Why are you, you're caging this animal that should be in the wild. Yeah. Texas is very strange when it comes to wildlife. You can kind of own anything. Texas, this is like you get a, you, get just you a fucking zebra. nuts here. Anything goes. Get you a zebra, Adrian. I want a baby zebra, not, not when yeah. it gets big. <laughs> Once it gets big, I'm going to put it in that lake with that alligator. <laughs> like, here, fend for yourself. Yeah, there's, there's apparently like a couple thousand more tigers in Texas than there are in the wild. Did you ever watch Tiger King? Oh, yeah. I mean, I just like it. such trash. It's I was so great. not so secretly hoping that Trump would pardon him. <laughs> yeah. Do you like this guy has like a, probably a third level education? Well. He's just trying to make money. Talk those straight guys into fucking him, so respect. Yeah, but I feel like. Rich people can get away with that. It's like why women, right. hot women, fuck ugly dudes that are rich. You're like, well, hopefully you think they'll that buy works me something. With guys? Yes, absolutely. Mm. I guess with some guys, but everything. It's like what works on everybody, you know? Because like some things don't work on some people, but they work on other people. I think money always works on everyone. <laughs>